happy Saturday. Please do forgive my appearance. I have been crying, not for anything bad. No, I've spent the afternoon working on my story, Holiday, which is a follow-up to River Road, which is a book I wrote years ago. I finished the rough draft of that book the day I found out I was pregnant with my older son, who is now 17. So I finished it a while ago, and then I started Holiday an embarrassing number of years ago. I won't say how long ago I actually started that story, like got the idea for it. Um, it it's, it's taking a while. So, but I've been working on that and I was um, working on this one scene and, I, and it got emotional somehow, just out of nowhere, it got really, really emotional and uh, not in a bad way. It's not, it's, it's actually, it's actually very touching. So I was sitting there and I'm just, whew, I just stopped what I was doing because I have to, um, I'm going to Goodwill. Not just Goodwill, but okay. I've been chasing down subway locations for the last six months or so. We have a lot of sub, you know, subway sandwiches. I look like my eyes are tiny and there's just nothing to my face. I have no makeup on and the lighting in here is weird. Um, sorry. I look like one of those drawings of a cartoon where they just have the little black eye, the tiny little black eyes. I feel like a naked mole rat. Jesus Christ with your LED headlights. Go away. Thank you. Jesus. I can't stand those damn things. Why are they legal? Why are these things legal? They can just burn your retina out. You can see a gnat's asshole. Congratulations, I am now blind. Don't get me started on headlights. I can't stand these bright ass headlights that some of these cars have. Anyway. No, I've been chasing subway locations for about six months. Okay, so there was this one, okay, subway subs, you know, the sandwiches. I'm not a fan. I really don't like subway. I really don't. I, I never get anything for myself, like ever. I never get anything. But my kids, fuck, I forgot my coupon. I just realized I left the coupon at the house. I had a coupon, buy one, get one free. Shit. Should I go back and get it? No, I'll just, I'll use it next time. I only have one. I'll do God shit. I guess I'll just use it next time. I don't have it with me. There's a little paper coupon where you buy one foot long sub, you get one free. I, I left it on the counter. It's on the counter at the house. Damn it. I hate it when I do that. Any, anyway, anyway. My kids really like Subway, and they always want the same thing. My older son wants two foot-long meatball subs on white, like Italian bread or whatever, no cheese, don't toast it, don't do anything, nothing else on it. Very simple, two of those. My younger son, who eats like a bird, I swear this boy eats like nothing, and he's been that way all of his life. He's growing, he's healthy, he just doesn't have a huge appetite. He always wants to get, usually he'll get just a six inch sub and it's, there's no, there's no name for it. And it's, it's this way with, with, with my kids. They're like this at Halloween. They want a costume, but it's not one you can go pick up anywhere. No, you're going to have to make this bitch. You're going to have to make it. This one is, is, yeah, it's not available. You can't just go to Target and buy it off the rack. No, you're going to have to make this costume. You're going to have to cobble together shit that goes with it any way you can and you better hope you have some time to prepare because it is probably going to take a bit and it's going to need a lot of creativity and stuff anyway no he you know what he gets you get a six inch sub on italian bread a little bit of lettuce and pepperoni and that's it don't toast it don't put anything else on it a little bit of lettuce and pepperoni I said, I could make that at home for less than half of what I'm paying for it at Subway. But I really like their bread, he says. And their pepperoni is really good. Please. It's so much better. I like their pepperoni and their bread. Blech. So, fine. Damn it, I can't believe I left that coupon at home. 
I'm really grouchy. I'm really grouchy right now because I, I did just get a notification of what my new mortgage payment is going to be. Our taxes went up, went way up this year here where I live. My taxes almost doubled for my house. And, and everybody is raising a stink about it. It's just got awful. Um, and I found out today how much my mortgage is, my mortgage payment is going up like shit. Really? Damn. All right. So there's that. And I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. I had, I returned some stuff. I had a bunch of ornaments I ended up not using and I took them back, but I couldn't find the receipt. I bought too many ornaments. So they put it on a gift card and there was about $45 on this gift card. Well, I went to use it yesterday to buy some stuff for one of my trees that I want to do next year. And they said there was only $11 on this gift card. I hadn't used it. They said, well, maybe you used some of it. I said, no, I haven't. There should be about $45 on this gift card. And I messed up. And I, I knew when I did this, I was going to regret it. I had the little receipt from getting the gift card that showed the amount. And it said $45 and something. I threw it away because it was taking up too much space in my wallet. So I threw it away because my wallet's already too full. So there's just too much crap in it. So I thought, oh, it's fine. Just just pitch it. My dumb ass threw it away. So now I can't prove, no, no, no. There's $45 on this card. No, ma'am, I'm sorry. There's only $11.30 on here. So I'm pissed about that. I'm pissed about my mortgage. I'm pissed that I left the Subway coupon at home. Things are just screwed up at the moment. <clears throat> yeah. I have on no makeup. I don't care. I've been at home all day. All I did was earlier I went to the post office to take the Christmas cards and uh, and drop them on, you know, mail them. And I had to put extra postage on a bunch of them this year for some reason. Like almost all of them needed extra postage this year. Last year only a few did, but this year they about all did. I ended up spending an extra eight dollars I think on postage plus extra stamps I had to put you know like two stamps on some and then like a three cent stamp and the international ones some of those were more expensive and oh my god it was rough this year but anyway I went out and did that I was going to go to my my regular post office but there was a 5k going on down there and everything was kind of closed off you could get to the post office but it would have been a real pain in the ass so I, went, I ended up going to a totally different post office and that was kind of weird and um, that's the only running around I've done today except for this I wasn't really worried about putting on any makeup I wasn't worried about impressing anybody at the post office every day ain't a beauty pageant some days I just look like this um, but you know, chasing chasing subways yes I've been chasing Subway stores for six months, okay? There used to be one really close to the house. Well, it was great until they stopped taking paper coupons. You have to use the app. Well, the Subway app sucks, and the coupons on there suck. They're no good. Save five cents on a sub in Buffalo, New York, Tuesday only. Like, their, their coupons are stupid. They're no good. The paper ones are great. Well, we don't take those anymore. Sorry. Like, are you never taking them again? I don't think so. Well, y'all suck then. I'm not coming here. You don't want to take your... What good is a Subway coupon if I can't use it at damn Subway? What am I supposed to do with it? Fold it up into a tiny airplane and launch it into space? I mean, why don't you take your own damn coupons? And I understand it's because of like, you know, what do you, whatchamacallit? franchises. I know, I know. But let me be mad for a minute. Let me just be mad about it. We don't take them anymore. Sorry. Well, then I will just go somewhere else. So then I went to this other subway and they took them, but then they closed like, well, at first the sign said they were closed to, for renovation and then it said they were permanently closed like they're just never going to open again. And then there's another one that I went to a couple of times, but the people that work in there are really, really weird, and I get this weird vibe from them. Like, as soon as you walk in, there's this thing they do, and I'm not really sure what it's about. The people who work in there, they don't really talk to you. They, don't, they won't talk to you beyond what they have to say or ask you. Um, 
and they always look at your shoes like as soon as you walk in they'll all stop what they're doing and, and just like look at your feet and it's really strange and there can be different people working in there and they all will look at your feet and one of these days I'm going to get up the nerve to ask why do you always look at my feet every time I walk in here but I've noticed they do it to other people as well so I'm not like what are you looking for? are you making sure we have our shoes on maybe they're making sure people have their shoes on I don't know but it's really weird um and it's just a very strange vibe in this place. They do take the paper coupons, but they stare at you the entire time. They will not smile. Now, I'm not saying they have to smile, but they will look at, they look at you like they would rip your heart out of your chest if they could get away with it, like, and probably put it as a topping on your sub. Like, they just look at you like they want to rip your face off. They look so angry. Everybody in there looks very mad. And everything they say is very terse and it's like they're put out that you're there I know it's really strange I've quit going there so I'm gonna try this one now this is another subway I haven't tried I think they take paper coupons not that it freaking matters today because I left it at home <laughs> damn it I should have just stuck it in my pocketbook why did I not do that I don't know but I didn't do it so I don't have, a, I'm going to have to pay full price for these stupid subs. Ugh. I, but I don't get one. I don't get drinks. I don't get chips. I don't do any of that. We have drinks at home. We have snacks at home. I just get the subs and that's it. Whenever I go get food for us anywhere, that's the way I always do it. I don't get drinks and stuff. We have drinks at home. You can drink what we have at the house. If you don't like it, you can take some of your own money and go get it your damn self. You can pay for it if you want drinks and chips. I'm not doing it. It's expensive enough as it is. My God. So hopefully, sorry, God, got a tickle in my throat. Well, I'm going to ask them while I'm there, do you take paper coupons? I'm going to check and see if they stare at my feet and if they talk to me like they hate me. I just want, you know, I just want to be able to go in and get a sub without a bunch of shit. Like, can you just not treat me like I'm a scumbag when I come in here? And tell me dumb things like, we don't take the coupons that they produce for this literal store. I know it's a franchise. Please don't try to educate me. I don't care. This is Everyday Mary. I'll just tell you. Don't don't try to educate me on shit. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I genuinely don't care. I know it's a franchise and they, they have some leeway as to what they do and, and don't do. I understand that. I understand. Please don't. Don't, don't tell me. I don't care. So, we're going to see if they... I'm going to ask them just to make sure. I'm pretty sure they do because Glenda the Good Witch is like me. He uses the paper coupons. No chips, no drinks, no nothing because he's got three teenage boys. And he said, my God, I, every time I go and he'll get a sub for himself and food for his three boys. And he said, it's, it's at least $40 every time I go just for the subs. It's ridiculous. But the coupons really help with that. So, um, yeah... I, so I do think they do take the paper coupons because I think this is the one he goes to. Anyway, what else was I going to tell you? I've I've spent the day kind of doing. I've done some housework. I've worked on my story. I have played wordscapes. The tournament is weird though. I think there's a bot in this tournament, and um, because every now and then you will play a tournament, and there will be this. There will be at least one player, sometimes two who has a, a score that is just impossibly high. Like, there is no way in hell that is your actual score. You know, even if you played as hard as you could 24-7, there's no way in hell you have a score that high. And I'm, I'm playing against somebody like that this weekend. It's like, there's no way in hell I'll ever get first place. Not this weekend. It's not going to happen. So I'm in a very comfortable second place, and I guess I'm just going to have to be happy with that. I will never beat this other person because they're already so far ahead. There's just no way. So I've given up worrying about it. Um, somebody asked about Wally. Wally's fine. He's doing fine. Um, it's been kind of warm at night, so he hasn't been coming around at night to stay inside. But he's always there first thing in the morning ready for his breakfast. He'll come in and eat, and then he goes and lies down under the dining room table and just sort of lounges for hours and is very happy to be inside. But at night, he hasn't been staying in there so much. But he's doing fine. He's doing fine. Um, the other three cats are doing fine. Everybody's good. 
Well, except for my younger son. I had to ground him. I had to ground him. This There was an incident. He is grounded. Um, and he's unhappy because he has no electronics. And he's just miserable. That's one thing about being a single parent that sucks. Is that you have to be the bad guy. You are always up whenever anything's going on with your kids. You are, you are on deck. You got to handle it. You cannot pass it off to anyone else. You are up. Being a single parent is hard. I'm not going to sit here and cry, you know, like, oh, poor me. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying it's not all fun and games. It's tough. And sometimes you have to you have to punish your kids and you have to mean it. And you have to be consistent about it. They have to know that you mean business. And it's no fun. I hate it. I don't like it. But it, ha it had to be done. So he's miserable. Um, which in turn is kind of putting a damper on my weekend. Because when you have to punish them, it, you know, you, you kind of get punished yourself. It sucks. I don't know. But you have to do it. You, have, you can't just not do it because it's easier for you at the moment. You really have to make them understand, you know, when you, when you do bad things, you know, especially when you've been told not to and you do it anyway, you are going to be punished and you are not going to like it. You are going to feel some consequences from that. So, yeah, I don't know. It sucks right now, but <laughs> he'll be all right. He'll get through it. Hopefully, he'll learn from it. Um, so, yeah, I had to be the bad guy. We uh, This was a couple days ago. He's still grounded, so he's going to be grounded for a while longer. So, got to be the bad guy sometimes. Well, not the bad guy. I mean, you know, you, you got to dole out consequences and consequences and stuff so you got to do it so what video am I going to do today I have no idea I think I want to do something easy something simple but fun I don't know I have several options I got this big box of sharpie markers I'm going to do a video maybe tomorrow <clears throat> um swatching all of the sharpies I have it's like a box of 60 sharpie markers it's it's nuts so I'm going to do that. Probably not today. I might do it tomorrow. Um, and that's about it. It's been a pretty uneventful day. Pretty quiet. Um, pretty nice. Pretty peaceful. Pretty gross, though, because it was, it was cloudy all day and cold. It looked like it was going to rain all day, but it never actually did. It's just been kind of gross. I really, really, really want the sun to come out, but I don't think it's supposed to come out until Monday. And I think Monday is the day they may actually start on my siding, like taking down the masonite and putting up the hardy board. I think that's supposed to start Monday. And fortunately, the weather looks really good for Monday and Tuesday. So they said it was hopefully going to be a two-day job. So if so, the weather looks perfect Monday and Tuesday. Sunny, no chance of rain, no nothing. So hopefully it will get done. It's got to get done. I just hope they do a better job than the last people. We'll see. We'll see what they do. But uh, yeah, I guess I better, I better go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run into Goodwill for a minute, and then I'm gonna go down to Subway and pay full price for subs because I don't have my freaking coupon. I, I'll use it again. I mean, it, it's not gonna go to waste. I'll get Subway again. So anyway, thank you so much for being here and for watching. I hope your weekend is good, and uh, yeah, and I will see you again really soon. You can barely see me right now because it's dark as hell. <laughs>